Now you played for some great managers. I can I can think of one in particular, of course, Leo. Uh, what nowadays it seems managers are very clinical. It seems it's all in the book and it's all average. It's all percentages. Uh, was it always like that? Well, I think maybe the Dodger organization may have started that. You know, we had Alan Rolfe, who now works for NBC uh, as a statistician for Kurt Getty and that bunch, and he used to work for our ball club. He could tell you how many times you drove a man in from second base with a single or how many men you hit in from third base with a fly ball. And uh, they had all this information, the Dodgers did. And I think that this organization could have started it. Uh, Olsen, of course, he was there in 1954, his first year up, and he hasn't changed uh, considerably. They say now it's much tougher or more difficult to manage, but Walt seems to have done all right in this era, to tell you the truth. So the uh, fiery, emotional manager isn't necessarily a thing of the past or a thing that really is needed back. I don't think so. Of course, I like to see a manager that has a little fire and put on a little show. I used to love to watch DeRosha put on his act, and uh, I'm sure sometimes it was an act. But Alston, he uh, very seldom goes out there unless he feels like it's really necessary. And uh, Sparky Anderson, he's kind of a fighter. And uh, Billy Martin, of course. Billy Martin, he fights on and off, doesn't he? <laughs> but he is a great manager. You know, he's been very successful wherever he's gone. It's just his off-field uh, antics get, that get him in trouble. He's a great manager.